In this video, I'm just going to go through the main features of the Zoom. So it'll just be an overview of each of the buttons and the functions on the Zoom itself. Um, I will be going into more detail on each of the things, so don't worry too much if it, looks, if it looks like I'm going through too fast. You will learn about each thing in more detail further on. So we'll start with the top of the Zoom, and that's where your microphones are. So you get two microphones there. Next down here, this is the mode indicator. So it will tell you, it will light up depending on what mode you're in. So you've got stereo, full channel and multi-track. Here we have the main LCD screen and anything you do will really show up here when, when it's turned on. You'll see everything on the LCD screen there. Here we have shortcut buttons. So each of these will do a different thing and that will be, you'll see all that in a separate video. Down here we have the microphone inputs. So when this one is lit up, it will be the microphone that's up here. When these are lit up, it will be microphones that you've actually plugged in to your Zoom. Here we have the basic controls. So you've got your record, play, stop, fast forward, and those sort of things. If we turn her over on the back, we've got an option here. This is an ex for an external mic. So we sometimes plug our sound man binaural microphone into the back here. Although we do have um, XLR adapters as well, and we plug them into the bottom. Here we've got an option here. You can um, attach it to a tripod. Also, the Zoom actually comes with a little handle that you can screw into there. Here we've got stamina on, and you'll think, well, what does that mean? But it is actually, the button for that is in here. So here we've got an on-off switch. Now what stamina, stamina does is allows you to extend your battery life. And we'll go into further detail on that in another video on why you should or shouldn't use stamina mode. Okay, obviously this is the battery section here. Okay, down the bottom here you've got, this is just an option to attach a strap if you've got one. It doesn't, the Zoom doesn't come with a strap, so you'd have to buy one, but you can thread it through here. Okay, on the side, we've got, um, here for starters we've got a remote option. There is a optional accessory you can buy. It's a remote control that you can plug into there. Here, if you want to plug in headphones, so if you want to monitor the sound you're recording, you can plug that there. This is the volume control for your headphones, so when you're listening, you can um, move it up or down. The US cable is here, so when you're plugging it into your computer, you plug it in here. And this is the on-off switch, so you push it down to turn it on, push it down to turn it off. At the very bottom here, you've got, uh, this is where your XLR cables go into. So if you're attaching in a microphone, you might attach one into there, another microphone into there. If you're using binaural ones, for instance, like we do, you'd, you'd attach it into both. Here too, you've got um, the connection to plug your, um, if you don't want to use batteries, you can plug it directly into your um, socket using the cable that they provide. On the other side here, we've got the SD little opening thing here. So this is where you put your SD card to record. Here we have the recording level. So this is different to your volume. The volume controls the sound coming out of the headphones. This controls the audio coming in, the audio that you're recording. So it's a recording level. Your menus here, when you press on that, you'll get the different menu options showing on your LCD screen. And this allows you to move up and down through the menu options on that screen. Okay, so that's the basics of the Zoom H4n.